gotta say, um, I can see why people look for a new ASMR channel to watch from time to time. Because when I first got into watching ASMR videos, I watched, I've, I've said this before, I basically only watched, uh, like, ear doctors. You know, so basically people role-playing to be ear doctors and, like, sticking things in microphones with ears, you know, and, and stuff like that, and, uh, uh, like, there, there have been a f quite a few people who make ASMR videos leaving comments on this channel, and I looked at some of them, and they were completely different than the types of ASMR videos I used to watch. Yeah, I said used to watch, used to watch, because I don't look really watch those ASMR videos anymore. Um, I came across some really interesting ASMR channels over the past few months. Um, just different channels I've never seen before. And it actually got me to start, to, like, seeing what, what else was out there, like, what other channels that I've never seen before. And I came across quite a few interesting ones. Um, honestly, there was, like, one I was trying to find again because they had, like, a really good video. Um, but, yeah, it was really eye-opening to see just how many different types of ASMR channels are actually out there. It's ASMR, not ASMR. Not ASMR, it's ASMR. Um, saying ASMR kind of, like, uh, the reason why I, like, why didn't I start saying ASMR? Uh, instead of, like, just keep saying ASMR. Um, because, again, um, I think ASMR, like, when you say the term ASMR, it brings thoughts of people who actually, like, interact with the camera, and they can not only give you audible tingles, but visual tingles, you know, with the lights and stuff that they bring in and out of the camera and they give you like instructions and like communicate directly with you that's typically like what I consider ASMR and I don't feel like I've ever gotten to that point I did make a couple of interactive role plays but I don't think it was timed right or like as if like I was actually talking to the camera you know just like, I basically really mediocre acting. And, um, so when I think of the term ASMR, I think of, like, the, the most professional ASMR channels that exist. So, like, I think that's the reason, like, because when you spell it out like that, like, that makes me feel like, you know, those are the videos that give you tingles, you know? And, I just don't think that my, my channel is on that level. <laughs> Where, like, you know, you can have visual and audible tingles and the interaction with the camera and stuff. And, uh, just, like, the props. And that's, that's what I consider ASMR. But I've come across so many different types of ASMR channels doing things that I've never seen before. All these different styles. And, um, it also kind of made me realize that a lot of the biggest ASMR channels, sometimes they, they don't make the best videos. Like, sometimes, like, like they, they make videos like I'm doing, where they just kind of whisper and kind of just talk, you know? But then they make also videos where they interact with the camera and they're actually, like, doing it how you know, I think they're supposed to. So, yeah, that's kind of the main reason why, like, I, I felt kind of weird about saying ASMR, like, spelling it out. Because that, that just kind of, like, makes it, like, seem like, you know, I'm doing it right, or something. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I'm gonna try to start saying ASMR, but like I said, like, um, honestly, like I said, I think it's actually really hard to make those types of interactive videos. 
because not only are you interacting with the camera, but you also have to know the triggers. I'm, I'm sure you've seen uh, quite a few ASMR channels where they talk about the triggers. Um, so it's basically like different ways of, uh, you know, trying to give people tingles. Like when they put the light in the camera, you know, on the edges and they tell you to like look up here, like look up here, like I'm going to do this and stuff. So you have to like actually know the triggers, you know, you actually have to know uh, how to do those things. I don't know how to do triggers at all. At all. All I know how to do is to whisper into the microphones and rub on them and maybe, maybe just kind of have, like, you know, I can make noises around the, I can make noises. You know, just, yeah, I can make noises. Yes, I can make noises. Anyways, I, you know, I can do stuff like that, but like, it's, it's at a whole different level when you're like doing role playing and you got all these these props and stuff and you're like all set up and s like I like I would like to get to that point but I don't think that's my style like I would really like to come up with a, a something that's something that like I find acceptable. Uh, a, a way of making ASMR videos that, like, are not like that. Like, I, again, I, d I don't want to collect props. I don't want to do that. And I don't even know if, like, I want to roleplay. But I do know that in order to, like, make the best ASMR videos, you have to do audible and vis vis you know, visible um, uh, triggers. So it's like, like they're doing that stuff with the camera, and they're doing all that stuff. I don't even know. Like, I don't even know where to begin. But I, I bet I could fake it, and I could emulate it, and, you know, I could just do the same hand motions, you know, talk the same way. And, and the end result would be probably the same visible as were, you know. It's like I just copied it to a T, you know, I'm sure it would probably be very, very similar to the same experience. I don't know, like, uh, it's just, um, so, there's a lot, again, like, I think, I think, I think all you have to do, honestly, all I have to do, and I should probably really do it. It's just watch a lot of ASMR channels, ASMR channels, and just take notes, literally take notes, okay? So, you know, what did they do throughout the video? And I've done that a couple times, like I, I watched, like, what they were doing throughout the video. And a lot of times they were using a lot of props and, um, you know, interacting with the camera. So... Obviously, you could use simpler props, like, you don't need, like, 50 different, like, medical props. You could just use, like, one or two props for all of those different scenarios and, and gestures and interactions. So, I think that's the way that I would do it. Like, I would, like, I don't like the whole fantasy, like, make, you know, pretend, you pretend you're, like, a scientist or something working in a lab. Oh, that's pretty neat. I remember I used to buy these Dr. Dreadful, like, food and toy lab things. You could make, like, candy and stuff. I'm kind of losing my voice. But, like, you know, that... I, I kind of like the idea that, like, a lot of people have said, like, I should make a, a backdrop with, like, lights and, you know, I don't even... Like, I am so bland. I, I made a video that, that actually got a lot of views. So I'm losing my voice. I, I made a video talking about, like, I'm, I'm pretty bland. I'm pretty boring. Like, I don't really, I don't, I don't really, like, 
sad to say I don't really have that much of a personality. I mean, obviously I do. Everybody has a personality, but like, it's very dry. It's very serious. It's very straightforward. And I just, I just like, would really like to be able to, like sometimes, you know, when I'm in a really good mood and I feel happy, I'm like, I bet I could make those as more, you know, with the, the making the noises. The, Somebody even said that I should do that. Like, I should just, like, start making them out. I'm losing my voice big time. That, like, I should just, you know, make those those videos with, like, audible triggers and tapping and, you know. But, like I said, you kind of have to, like, have a list of triggers that you're going to do. You can't just, like, completely pull it out of your... Like, I mean, if I'm talking about something, you know, like, if I want to talk about something like this pen... You know, I could tap on it. You know, I could just, you know, that's what they do typically. Then they kind of, you know, they kind of like outline like, like, well, look, you see, it's got two buttons there. You can press it on both the buttons. It's got like a rubber. It's got like this little silver ring and stuff and a plastic handle. And it says, Huyen, I, Huyen on it. It's not a Wacom. It says Huyen, you know. Just, you know, you can hear it, you can tap on it. All that stuff. So it's about being very detailed and focused and um, analyzing things. And uh, I mean, I'm pretty good at analyzing things. I can I can do that. But, you know, some, a lot of times, like, I just want to rush, rush through it. And um, But, like, if you kind of slow down and kind of look at the little details and the little, the little nuances, the little details, you know, so again, I, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty, like, uh, it's weird to be at that point where, like, you're kind of, like, overwhelmed, like, you don't even know where to, like, how to approach it, that's the big thing, like, I don't even know how to approach ASMR, and I think for a lot of people, it kind of comes naturally, you know, um, I've, I've seen, you know, big a ASMR channels, God, I cannot whisper anymore. I've seen big ASMR channels, like, if you look at their first videos, that's, like, a good thing to do, so to, like, look at where they started, like, what what was their style when they first started ASMR videos, and typically they actually, they actually were very similar to, to how they are, you know, years later, they're still making ASMR videos about the same, the same way, except they have better equipment, better props, you know, better backdrops, and uh, they're a little bit more professional about it. But they were doing it the same exact way from what I've seen at the very beginning. So it's very interesting that um, you can really see, like, what motivated them, the, the approach, the way that they saw ASMR videos from the very beginning. And that was kind of like their style. And it, from what I've seen, yeah, they get better at it. But they they still have that same, uh, like, overall style. Like, so if they're pretending to be actors and they're pretending to be doctors and scientists and examiners and stuff, they typically did that from the very beginning. Um, so they definitely learn from each other and, like, they even give each other tips and stuff on how to talk and... You know, they, they copy each other's props and, and stuff. Um, so, but it's interesting because there's so many different types of, of approaches that people come with ASMR videos. I guess you could say that I do this philosophical rambling. Um, that's kind of like what I do, and I've seen people, you know, do that kind of stuff. But like I said, true ASMR videos is interacting with the camera, giving audible and visible you know, tingles, triggers, and, um, I, I would really like to, to get to that point one day, but it's so weird to, like, not even have, like, the mental ability to get into that state of mind to, like, do that, but, you know, on the very rare occasion, I feel, like, a little bit comfortable to, like, dabble with it, but, oh, shit, Okay, the power's almost out. I'll see you guys later. That The power literally just... Did you see that? I think it's a good time to go before, like, everything...
shuts off and then the, you know, that, that, that could have shut off right then.